tell me, what's your, what's your favorite thing to do? Like, before all this. Before oh, before all this? Yeah. Outside. Yeah. Outside. Anything outside. Anything outside? What's your favorite thing outside? Probably playing football with the neighborhood kids. Are you good? Or they're all like eight, so. Oh. <laughs> Funny, quick-witted, and as he says himself, a kid that loves being outdoors. Valentin Fernandez is a typical 13-year-old, but an unfortunate day in August was anything but typical. So, we were at the house, and then I remembered I had to, I had to go do a job that day. And I was going, I texted one of my friends to see if he wanted to go. And he said, meet him at Ortiz. So I was going to bike to Ortiz and then go down the street. So I went and then I was going down the street. As I was going down the street, these two dogs just come out of nowhere. Start chasing me. So he was on his bicycle being chased by a dog in a car, he w went in front of a car and a car hit him. And then he got flipped up and hit by a second car. I open my eyes and then I'm rolling on the floor. So I, I'm thinking what just happened. And then I open up my eyes one more time and everyone's around me and asking me if I'm okay, telling me not to get up, don't move. And then I could hear a lady in the background calling I don't know who she was calling, but probably 911. He was brought to the emergency room where he underwent a standard trauma workup. He had multiple injuries. Um, fortunately, he did not have a head injury or serious internal injuries, but he did have several fractures, including breaks of both of his collarbones, his shoulder, his spine, his pelvis, his thigh bone and extensive road rash. I passed out in the ambulance, and whenever I woke up, I was in the room I waited for surgery. And then everyone asking if I'm okay, I said, yeah. They put me to sleep so they could do surgery, and then whenever I woke up, my arm was hurting real bad, and so was my leg. He underwent surgery that night for his thigh bone to treat it, because he had a very serious fracture of his thigh bone. Valentin spent the next 11 days in the hospital, recovering from his surgery and injuries. Days felt kind of long. Couldn't really sleep for long. I sleep for 30 minutes and I think it was like four hours. So I would stay up at night. I couldn't sleep at all. I was in pain at night. During his stay, the staff at Hendrick made sure he was as comfortable as possible. So kind of my role in the hospital is to be an extra advocate for kids and for families knowing that Hospital is not the most fun place to be. It was a lot of emotional processing as well as just physically trying to um, gain an understanding of, of everything in his body that was kind of hurt um, or broken or um, things that were giving him pain. His hospital time came and went, but the real work was just beginning. Initially, he had to use a wheelchair for several weeks until some of his fractures healed. Now he is actually walking, mobilizing on his own without any, any assist devices such as a crutch or a cane. I think being able to see you know, how far he's come physically in that healing is, is amazing and truly a miracle to, to see all of that kind of come to fruition. Fortunately, the expertise that we had at Hendrick Medical Center was more than capable of taking care of Valentin and his injuries. Uh, we have a complete floor dedicated to pediatric patients with pediatric nurses, and this is where he received all of his care. He's, he has also received his wound care and outpatient physical therapy through the services provided by Hendrick. I think being able to keep families here um, and provide the care that they actually need is, is huge. Valentin has come a long way, and the services he needed to do that are located right here in Abilene, thanks to generous donations to Hendrick Children's Hospital from people in our community.